hope that ain't too loud right there. That's my pump going. I'm fishing up. I'm finna show you how I, I try to paint my jigs and, and baits. Right before I turned that camera on, I just made the biggest mess you've ever seen. I put my wire to my heat gun behind it. Man, then I already got that going, dumped it over, and just made a mess. I ain't never done that. But what I'm going to show you before I get started, see that little bitty pump there? Little aquarium pump. If you want to do this, don't waste your time with that. You're going to have to get at least a double pump. That won't work. That won't work at all. At all. But what I'm going to start out with is these grass jigs that I showed everybody how to work. They got a little bit of I got a little bit of that play though right there. I need to get that off. That's all. I just happened to see it. Make sure there ain't no more got none on it. Man, I should check and make sure I was ready, shouldn't I? See, that's what I always do. I think I'm ready. Then I start finding things. <laughs> Guess I'll be like everybody else. Just go ahead and go ahead and stop. Do like I was doing. Just go ahead and start making them, and then. But see this one right here. That's the size. That size hook used to come with them right there. That's one of them. That's a one-off. Look how little that is. I'll show you the difference. This is the one that I fish with right here. He's, let's do it like this. Can you see that? That's the one I fish with. The same, it's the same head. But look at the difference in that. <laughs> you see the difference in that? Look at that. This one here is about like brim fishing. It's a little too big to brim fish, but it's almost brim fishing. And I was like, when I got them, I was like, man, there ain't no way that's no one-off. I fish with one, two-off. They bigger than that. But every company's got their own way of measuring it, I guess. All right, I'm going to do these here with white. See, you probably can see, see a little bit of, see a little bit of the paint coming out. It done got the, it done got the butt. Let me stir it up. They done got the bubbling. I had it all ready. Had it all going perfect. Everything to it to it dumped out. Might need to turn it down just a little bit. I got a valve on it. What you want it to be is real fluffy. If you feel that paint starting to starting to pack up. That means it ain't up high enough. See? Turn it down just a little bit and start doing that. I had it all ready. Alright, we ready. Then I'm going to show you what I do with them. That's the rag I use to wipe all the paint up with. Then see, I got my oven right here. You take it. Take your pliers and just cramp it like that. Now you got it. See? Oh, where the ends over there. See, there it is right there. Now let's see if I can get one going. Hope that ain't too loud for y'all. I turned the fan off. I said, that's, that's just too much going on. It ain't going to take long to heat this little head up. It's only one eighth of and then I just go right back over the heat one more time to make sure it's all level. Lower it level. See, there it is. Let me turn this off so I don't get burned. See, there it is. Look at that. See, I didn't want. That's the reason I, that's the reason I was using this over here instead of 
show y'all, you know, I showed the other video, you could just dip it down in there. But see, I want to use this because I don't want that, I don't want to put paint on that wire. I mean, it's all right, just a little bit at the bottom. But I don't want, but I don't want to get paint on it. I don't want to clog it up. Then the screw lock won't work. All right, let's do another one. I just thought I'd just turn the camera on since I was doing it. Since I, done, I started making videos, might as well. So I might as well just turn the phone on. It don't hurt nothing. Just let, just let y'all watch me do it. <laughs> and then maybe somebody might learn something. And then. See, I'll turn it off because I got to talk. And then what I got, I just got a piece of, a piece of wire laying here. And see how that paint, see how that paint got in that eye? Yeah, I could take that shrink wrap and put on it and keep that from happening and keep the hook pretty and clear. But to be honest with you, I really don't care about that. I be... I'd rather had a, I'd rather had a paint on it than had the hoop look. Cause I've been fishing out in that ocean and no matter where you hook that bait at, them fish are gonna hit it right beside that hook. So I know they can see it. So I'd rather just go ahead and just paint it white and be done with it. The way it all looks the same. See? All you do is just poke it in there. Look at there. Now you can see the hole, can't you? All right, that's all you gotta do is poke that wire through there and get that out. It's real stringy. Powder paint's kind of like vinyl paint. It's real, it's real stringy like that. But that's how you powder paint. See, ain't nothing to it. I made all this stuff. I mean, you can buy it. But I made mine. I said, well, that'll save... I said, that'll save a few dollars. Cause when I looked at, I looked at some, man, it was like, boy, way up there, boy, like a hundred dollars a piece or something. I said, woo, boy, y'all done lost y'all mind. I said, how many, I said, how many you want for, for 75? I said, I don't think I got about $20 in them. It's the exact same thing they got. Exact. I got the tops and everything. I glued in the bottom. The bottom cap, I glued it in. So it won't never come off. I glued all that. So it won't never, now, I, I, I can take it apart. I can take it apart and put a new filter in it. And all you use for a filter, you might not believe this, but you know what you use for a filter? You take and draw it, lay that on a, on a piece of uh, copy paper, draw it out, cut a ring out with the, with the scissors. That's what you use for a filter. It works perfect. I tried a coffee filter. I tried all kind of stuff. I tried notebook paper. And none of that worked like that copy paper. You know, you might be able to get, you might be able to, to use it, but it didn't work. It didn't work the way I wanted to. I just kept trying different filters until I figured out where to work. 
Like I said, all you gotta do is just draw it out. You cut it with a pair of scissors. See, when I get that eye, when I clean that eye out, I like to, I like to go back, I like to go back over, you know, make sure it all, met all that paint on. And then you gotta hang them up. Now here's one of my, here's one of my spinner baits. You know, I showed y'all in one video how to tie them. See, that's my spinner bait right there. See that big old long hook I put in there? I put that big long hook, you ain't gotta have no trailer hook. Cause that is, that's just as long as a trailer hook. So you don't need a trailer hook, you got him, see? And you say, well, how you gonna do that? I'll show you. You still take it, still take the ply, clip and clip it on there, and heat it up. Now see, the reason, reason you got to do it white, you got to do it white to use other colors are. Or that lead color. Turn that off so you hear me. That lead color right there messed the color up. It won't come out, it won't come out pretty like you want. And see, this is how I do it. I just take a, I just take a old, I just take one of my brushes, dip it down in there and just and sprinkle it on there. Cause I ain't doing but one. If I was doing more than that, and I ain't done these in so long, I just have to find everything. I made a, I made another little gadget with a rubber seal where I could bend it down in there just like, just like this area right here and put a perfect coat on it. But it don't have to have a perfect coat on it. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint it anyway. But this here is just to put the base coat. That's all this is. And then see, but once you put some on there, you just run it back over and smooth it all out. You just twist it like that, just twist it. Just like it's on, just like you make a rotisserie chicken. Just start twisting. Just start twisting, it levels it all out. And then I come back and put some more. In the spots I missed. Or the spots that, when it, or the spots, you know, when it levels out, it'll make spots sometimes. Then, because you ain't got enough powder paint there. So when it flows all out, it makes some little spots. And then plus, it's like the lead sucks some of it up. You know, you got that bleed through, I don't want that. I mean, does it really matter? Not really. I was going, uh, I was going to airbrush this, but since I'm making this video, I just do it like this. To show y'all different ways to do it. But you can do it like this. You know, it just takes longer, that's all. That's all it is. And then just like I said, just put it on here and just turn it like a rotisserie chicken. And when it's over that heat like that, you can just see it all leveling out. Because it ain't going to get hard as long as you keep it over that heat. Now once it gets hard, you can't do this no more. So you got to do it right then. You got one chance to do this. If you want it nice and level. And that's the way I want it. I want it nice and level. That's the reason I'm doing it like this. You got one chance. Once you let it cool off, you can't melt it no more. The paint's done. But right now, you can. Now, let me show you. Turn it off so I don't burn my face. Now, see it? Look how smooth that is. Can you see how smooth that is? Smooth, right? Here, let me do it like this. Smooth, right? Look at that. You see? It was just all lumpy. I should have let you see it. It was all lumpy and all. Now, look how smooth it is. Now, once you let it cool like this, right now, you can't do that no more, you're done. 
You got that one chance, that one chance. When you first do it. And I'm gonna hang it up in here. I'm gonna hang it up in there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna bake it. Now these right here, I already them done. I had already done doing these right here. These are herring heads. Is what that is. It's herring head. You can put on your swim bait. And I modified the mold, see? I can make I can make one like that. Or I can make one with a underspin. See that? I modified the mold. I modify all my molds. See, I can just take this one jig mold and mold all different kinds. Every kind they make. That's just the way I do it. That's why I said, you know, it's just the way I do it. I'm just showing you how you ain't got to spend all that money. You ain't got to keep buying and buying. And buy an underspin mold and then buy the swim bait mold, jig mold. You ain't got to do all that. You want to do it all. And believe it or not, I make spinner baits that way too. I make buzz bait. All that. I make all that with the same mold. Now, why I said I got a lot of. I probably make thousands and thousands of videos by the time I show y'all when I get. when I do it. Because I ain't doing this. I ain't doing this. for a job. I'm just doing this because I'm bored. sell baits or nothing. I'm just showing y'all what I do. Because it don't matter to me no more. Used to, I didn't show nobody nothing. The reason I didn't, because I fished tournaments. And if I showed everybody how to catch them, I wouldn't catch them. Now I got to figure out something different. I mean, it's all, I mean, it's like that now. Every time I tell somebody something, boy, they run and tell everybody, like, like look here at my idea. It wasn't your idea at all. You ain't the one went out there and figured, you, you wasn't even catching nothing. I told you how to catch them. And you want to run and tell everybody. No, nothing make you no matter than that, does it? Just run and tell everybody. Like you come up like, oh boy, I've been just busting bass. You ain't even been fishing. Boy, it gets mad at people. I'm like, dang, man, come on, man. I'm like, man, I got a tournament Saturday. Now you are telling everybody I'm going to be fishing against when I'm catching them on. Just because you want the prestige. You want everybody to think you done all that. And you didn't do none of that. You didn't figure out how to catch them. You don't know where they at. None of that. I don't really know any of that because you went with me. And then you want to run and tell everybody like. Like that's going to help you move up on your job or something. Like you're going to make people like you. And people still ain't going to like you. That's just the way life is. That ain't nothing but social stuff. See, I make big ones too. See, look, that's a big one. Look at that. Look how big that is. Big monster one there, boy. 
I don't know, I better wait on that one, I think. I didn't clean that up, did I? I just seen it. Good thing I seen it. No, it's all right. No, it's all right. This is just a small hook I was putting in that big, in that big head. I had to modify the mold because I, I wanted to, I wanted this big head on a small hook so I could hide the hook. That's all. I like to hide the hook. Does it help me get more bites? It does in my mind. It does in my mind. Is it is it that way in real life? I have no idea. Like I said, I just know. I just know when I went when I went to the beach and went shark fishing. Even if sharks would not hit that hook. Ah, oh, look at her! I done that, didn't I? Wherever you put that hook at in that bait, they bit it right beside it. And I'm talking about right there in the shore. I ain't talking about way out there where it's crystal clear at. I'm talking about in that. I'm talking about in that muddy, sandy water. They hit beside the hook. They can still see it. And my son said, Dad, I don't think they can actually see it. I think they got some kind of scepter inside of them that picked that metal up. I said, you know, that's possible. I said, but if they do it, what about the other fish? And I said, the other fish, it bothers them too. Because I'm telling you, I done it, boy. I hooked them fish in the head. They bite it right behind the head. I hooked them, I hooked them fish. I'm talking about big fish. I ain't talking about a little bitty one. I'm talking about monster fish. I'm talking about some fish, three and four, five pounds. That's why I use them for bait. I hook that joke in the back. And they bite it right beside that hook. I hook him in the tail. They bite it right on the other side of that hook. It didn't matter where I hooked it at. They bit it right beside that hook. And if you watch people that ocean fish, they hide them hooks inside them fish. Everybody ever seen does. All of them I see fishing in terms and stuff, they hide them hooks inside that bait. Why they hide the hook for? Because they know the same thing I do. Them fish won't hit it if they see that hook. So that's Ah, look at that. I keep doing that. So that's my idea behind that. I just want to put that small hook in there just to see. When I'm out there just fishing, playing, I try. I throw one with the regular hook. And then when I start catching them, then I try the other one. If I ain't catching nothing, I, I hook it on there. If I start catching them, then I try the other one again. If it don't hit it, then I know it's don't, all, it ain't nothing but the hook. If it's the same exact bait, it ain't nothing different but the hook. You know what it is. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But, see, I, that was them underspins. I got a bunch of them. They was all laying here on this table, but see, see why I'm wiping it? I'm wiping it because when I dumped it out, believe it or not, that paint fell right on top of it. And there's a big pile of paint right on top of them. <laughs> I said, look at that. I said, here I am fitting to make a video. And look what a mess I just made. So I just took the rag and wiped it up. That's all. I just took the rag and wiped it up. 
and then turn the camera on. That's all I did. And I put it, I wiped it and put it in a cup. But I looked at it, it looked like maybe other paint might be in it. I mean, for an undercoat, it really don't matter, but I don't know if I'm going to use all this for undercoat or not. You know, they just, see, that's how you just do a white one. See? That's how you just do a white. I mean, I want some of them plain white. I might put some eyes on it. Maybe. Or maybe not. I don't always put eyes on mine. I can't tell the difference. I know everybody, everybody wants it. If I sold them, I had to put eyes on them. Everybody, because I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to catch fish. I'm trying to catch people. So, I had to put eyes on them. I had to put eyes on them, right? There wasn't none of y'all bite unless I put eyes. Y'all want eyes on it too. Y'all want that thing to look pretty, boy. I mean, they couldn't sell these things for, for ten dollars a piece at the store if they didn't look good. And I've been telling everybody, shoot, I've been mean, thinking about selling them. Well, I sell them a lot cheaper than buy them at the store. I would, I would. And see, that's the only thing about these things. I ain't never had so much trouble getting that paint in the eye, but. And I'm going to go ahead and clean it out right now. It wasn't bad. But it had a little bit, that hole wasn't open up right. It wasn't bad. It just had a little paint in it. It wasn't closed up like I showed y'all a while ago. It wasn't closed up, nothing like that. Now, I don't use sewing thread. But anyway, that's how you do it. And I'll show you though. I even do, I even do one of these shad baits. This is what they're about to start feeding on. And see, look. That's a two ounce, that's a two ounce shad right there. That big boy. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can get it in there. Cause I hadn't planned on doing this. I make sure my cup filled up when I do these. But it's about four inches long. High. I can do a big old bait. But like I said, all that paint, all that powder paint dumped out. And I didn't put all that back. I just dumped some in there. And I'll show you what kind of powder, powder paint I use. It ain't no secret. It wasn't quite, it was just barely, not big enough, just barely. That's why you see me, I had to turn it to the side. But I got it. And then, right, like I said, right now, right now is the time you want to spin it. And then I spin it. Every time I do a lure, I spin it. Because this modder's right here. You want it all level. You want this all level. And then the way I do it, I take, I take paper clips. See? I take paper clips and just bend it. Hook it right in there, hook it right in there just like that, see, to hold the plier. Hook it right in there just like that. 
Well, oh, I've got my finger stuck. And see, it holds it just like that. You stick it in there and just bake that. Now I'll show you what I did. I'll show you the powder paint. That might be what's wrong with it right there. That lid wasn't closed. That lid wasn't closed good. That might have been the problem. And then got some moisture in it. That's what I used right there. See? Powder paint. Just plain old white powder paint. It says powder coat paint. That 16 ounce. You get 16 ounces of it. And I think it's I think it was like six dollars. I think it was six dollars. Five dollars, six dollars up there uh harbor freight. I got that, I got the white and I got the black. And see, I'm going to do some black, but not right now. Because I, I ain't got no black. I got nothing. and I ain't made it yet. I was going to put that black in. I just ain't done it. I just dip it down in there, but I need to make one. Because this here is a better way to do it. It really is a better way to do it. But the reason is because it just puts a, it puts a real thin coat on it. And that's what I like. It puts that thin coat on it. And to me, it seems like me is better. It makes it stay on there better. It don't come off as bad chipping off. If you put it on there real thick, you chip it off. I don't care if you cook it or And I'm fit to cook them. That's why I'm sticking there in the oven. I'm just letting y'all watch me do it. And I just go over, I just over the heat by 20 seconds or so. You see, I didn't, I didn't run it over it much. Because once it gets hard, once it gets hard, you can't, you can't do like this no more. If you want to level it out, you got to do it right then. See how shiny it gets? It gets real shiny when you do it like this. Oh, I tell you something else. I tell you something else. People don't like that. They're Harbor Freight because it ain't shiny like that. But that's why. You got to run it. You got to run it over the heat. It takes more heat for it than it does that other. In that protein. It's just as, it looks just as good. It looks just as good as that right there. And this right here comes from Cabela's. Because I had to go up there to the doctor every month. And that comes from Cabela's. That's that good Protec powder paint. It's good. It's good though. But I can't see no difference in it. But like I said, you see how I do it though. But y'all see how I do it. I ain't want to do. I ain't want to do all that. I had a lot more of them underspins than I thought I did. I got a lot of them underspins. I just made a bunch of them when I was making. I made a bunch of them, but I made them a while back. And this is a herring head. I don't know if I told you all that or not, this is a herring head. Because I like you got herring in it. So I bought the herring head. I bought it. I bought this hair and head mold. And it's just a swim bait mold. But like I said, just a little bit of modification, I made it underspin. 
Now I can do it all with one bait, with one mold. They like my port and tail mold. Like I said, I can I make jigs, I make spinner bait, bug bait, underspin. I can make a, I bet that's a blade laying right here. There's a blade laying right somewhere. I think, oh, there it is. I knew I seen one. And see, I modified it. I modified it to make a chatter bait. I put that directly on the hook. See? I got all kind of ideas. All kinds of ideas. I got all kinds of stuff I can show y'all. I can show y'all. One, one, I'm going to make a video like that. And I'm going to show y'all how many different baits that I make with one mold. Because like I said, does a head really matter that much? Does it matter if it's round? Oblong? Does all that really matter? Because if you look at the end of this and this brown looking. See, look. That's kind of round looking on the, on the end of it. No, it ain't, it ain't like a ball, but it's kind of round looking. I mean, if that come by, if I come by you 30 mile an hour, could you really tell if it's a ball head or not? That's what I tell everybody. If I throw this at you when it, when it come by, can you tell me where I throw the ball head at you? throw this dang boy that's something else in there that's some lead or something in there I can't even get the thing through there there we go I think there was some lead That was in there when I molded it. Sometimes it happens. But I got it. See, I messed it up. See there? I messed it up. That's okay. You see how shiny it's getting? That's why I told y'all I got one chance to do this. Once you mold it like that while it's still scalding hot. See, it was still scalding hot. It ain't never dried yet. Once you, once you let that dry, once you let that dry now, you can't do that no more. But look how shiny that is. See how shiny that is? Let me see. See if I can get in that light. See how shiny that is? Everybody says, everybody says, that fire paint from up our up our off the freight. It ain't shiny. It's dull looking. You see anything dull about that? I don't see nothing dull about it. Because they don't know how to do it. Tell me watch this video, they'll know. I think it done been about 30 minutes. I'm going to turn it. I've been turn it off. I don't really want to make them for 20 minutes. But I just seen it run my mouth making them. I just letting y'all watch me make them. It's all right to have one a little bit longer every now and then. That's why I always tell y'all, if y'all listen, I'll be, I be talking about all kinds of different stuff. Trying to get used to talking to myself. I ain't used to talking to myself. I'm used to talking to God, though. I mean, yeah. 
He done gave me all kind of good ideas. Because he made the fish. He made them so he know what they'll bite, right? All right, then I turn it on. Because that's enough. Well, I've done a bunch of them, didn't I? And what I do, I, I turn it as far as it'll go. And I got it on 210 degrees. That's the lowest setting. The lowest you can go is 210 degrees. And that's what I got it on. And I turn it, I turn the time as far as I can. As far as it'll go, for an hour, hour and a half, how far it is, two hours. That's how long it stays in there. But that's it though. Let me turn this off. Now you can hear me good, can't you? But like I said, just be sure if you make this setup, just be sure if you make this setup here, if you make this setup right here, be sure that you get a double pump because it won't nothing else work. I tried all kind of stuff. You know, just try it. I, I had that, I had three of them double pumps already. That grandma had. Grandma had it because she was on auction. That's an auction. I'm putting auction in it. <laughs> All right, let me let you look at it. See them in there? And that's the end of it. See them hanging in there? There's all my... There's all my settings. See? Ain't nothing special. Okay. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, comment down below. I might start giving some of this stuff away. Because I don't need all this. Thanks for watching.